A new account of the tales of the world, also known as Shishou Xin Yu or Shishuo Xin Yu Chinese, Shishuo Xin Yu was compiled and edited by Lu Yiqing Lu I Qing, Lu Yiqing 403-444 during the Lu Song dynasty 420-479 of the Northern and Southern dynasties 420-589. The book contains some 1,130 historical anecdotes and character sketches of some 600 literati, musicians and painters who lived in the Han and Wei Jin periods, that is, the 2nd through 4th centuries. Chapter 19, for instance, has 32 stories about outstanding women. It is thus both a biographical source and a record of colloquial language. The original text of the book was divided into eight volumes of one scroll, though current editions generally span ten volumes, although most of the anecdotes and personalities are attested in other sources. Traditional Chinese bibliographers did not classify Shishou Xin Yu as history but as minor talk, Shao Shuo, a term that was later used to refer to fiction. Literary historian Victor Mayer comments that the bias against tales of the world as legitimate work of history undoubtedly stemmed from its failure to subscribe to the sanctioned conventions of history enshrined in the dynastic histories and its use of lively and sometimes colloquial language. The mixture of literary and vernacular styles set the scene for the later tradition of informal Chinese literature. The 20th century Chinese novelist Lu Xuan also spoke highly of the book's aesthetic merits. The text has been translated in full into English, with the Liang Dynasty 502 commentary by Lu Xiaobiao, Lu Xiaobiao in Richard B. Mather, Shi Shuo Xin Yu, A New Account of Tales of the World. Topic. Extant versions Manuscript Handwritten fragments from the Tang Dynasty 618-907 Tang Xie Ben Kanwan woodblock prints Dong Fen edition, 1138 8th year of the Shaoxing reign of the Southern Song, original kept in Japan Nan Song Shao Xing Ban Yen Dong Fen Kan Ben Yuan Ben Kun Yu Ri Ben Edition by Lu Yu, 1188, 15th year of the Chunxi reign of the Southern Song. Nan Song Chun Shi Shi Wu Nian Lu Yu K Ben Edition from Hunan, 1189, 16th year of Chunxi. Chun Shi Shi Lu Nian Shang Zhang K. Topic Categories Virtuous conduct De Xing Di Yi Speech and conversation Yan Yu Di Er Affairs of State Zheng Shi Di San Letters and scholarship Wen Shui Di C. The Square and the Proper Fang Zheng Di Wu Cultivated Tolerance Ya Liang Di Lu Insight and Judgment Shi Jian Di Qi Appreciation and Praise Shang Yu Di Ba Grading excellence Pin Zhao Di Ju Admonitions and warnings Gui Zhen Di Shi Quick perception Jie Wu Di Shi Yi Precocious intelligence Su Wei Di Shi Er Virility and boldness Hao Shuang Di Shi San Appearance and manner Rong Ji Di Shi Si Self-renewal Zi Xin Di Shi Wu Admiration and emulation Qi Xian Di Shi Lu Grieving for the departed Shang Shi Di Shi Qi Reclusion and disengagement Qi Yi Di Shi Ba Worthy beauties Xian Yuan Di Shi Ju Technical understanding Shu Jia Di Er Shi Skill and art Chao Yi Di Er Shi Yi Favor and veneration Chong Li Di Er Shi Er the free and unrestrained Ren Dan Di Er Shi San. Rudeness and arrogance Jianao Di Er Shi Si. Taunting and teasing Pai Diao Di Er Shi Wu. 
contempt and insults Ching Di Di Er Shi Lu. Guile and chicanery Jia Wei Di Er Shi Qi. Dismissal from office Chu Mian Di Er Shi Ba. Stinginess and meanness Jian Se Di Er Shi Ju. Extravagance and ostentation Tai Chi Di San Shi. Anger and irascibility Fen Wan Di San Shi Yi. Slander and treachery Chan Xian Di San Shi Er. Blameworthiness and remorse Yu Wei Di San Shi San. Crudities and slips of the tongue Pai Lu Di San Shi Si. Delusion and infatuation Huo Ni Di San Shi Wu. Hostility and alienation Cho Shi Di San Shi Lu. Topic. References and notes Topic. Further reading Nansho Qian. Spirit and Self in Medieval China, the Shishuo Xin Yu and its Legacy. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Asterisk I Press, 2001. ISBN 0824820952